Hey, warriors. So it is day 10, okay? And I'm sitting in the car, about to get ready to go in, and I'm going to take a nap. Yes, I need naps. Remember back in the days, we used to be like, I oh, don't want to go to sleep. Well, I got to take a nap. They put me to sleep in school. I don't like the nap. Now I'm like, <laughs> what's that message? Why hasn't it been nap time? Why do I got to keep doing stuff? Why do I got to go here and go there? I just want to take a nap. Yeah, I'm having one of those moments. So now that my nap ramp is over, <laughs> we're going to talk about day 10, okay? How am I feeling on day 10? I'm feeling really, really good. This morning I had an apple and I'm drinking a green smoothie. It's around 3.30 p.m., I know whatever I do to start my day, I drink a smoothie. I fast until I feel like I need to eat something. I'm not going to lie to you. So it's almost like I'm doing intermittent fasting too because I eat and then I'm making my best to not eat when it's close to um, bedtime just because of digestive um, problems and stuff, acid reflux. And I don't want to deal with the tears of that. <laughs> so, therefore, I'm going to start eating earlier. But how am I feeling? I'm feeling really good. I have energy that I didn't have. Just from, I think, like, day three, the energy kind of kicked in. And every day after I was able to do a little bit more and a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I said it in one of my previous videos or whatnot. But on day four, I was able to clean up an area that i just been a room, really. That i just been looking at for months. It's a whole room, guys. It's a room. But I just was looking. I was looking around. I was kept looking at it. And I got kept looking at it. And it's done. It's over and it's clean. So, and after that's just three days of eating. Because I didn't even eat um, when I started cleaning the room all day four. I just got right into it. So, yeah, I'm feeling really, really good. And my energy level is going up. So, I'm happy about that. I'm learning that I chew more. So, I had an apple, y'all. And I was going to my auntie house. By the time I got to my auntie house, I was still eating on this apple. I was like, oh, I take more chews. Now, I'm not going to lie. If it was a piece of steak or a chicken honey, I would inhale it, okay? I probably wouldn't even have chewed. I would <sighs> next bite because that's what I was doing, especially chicken with sauce. Oh, my goodness. I would take it down. It was like a WW. Is it E or F? WWE. I think it's WWE wrestling match. I don't know. Don't quote me. But I would have took it down like I was Hulk Hogan or something. All right, y'all. I had to go Google it. It was the WWE. Anyways, the food go down, baby. Now I just be like, I'm taking down this smoothie. I'm taking down these fruits and vegetables. I be taking down food. I ain't gonna lie. We be... Okay, so anyways, what's next? So I chew my food. So I noticed that... Uh, my poop don't stink. Yeah. Day nine. You ain't got to wait 30 minutes to walk in there. You can go right in. Really, some days it was like, don't even go. Just just stay all the way back. Just come on, let's leave the house for an hour. But now it's like, just give it one second, honey. Go right in there. <laughs> Anywho, that was TMI. Really, it ain't because I need to let y'all know what's going on. Okay, so the next thing is, I have had three anxiety episodes, though. That's the most troubling thing to me. And I know, like, part of my anxiety has become food. So I used to get anxiety, well, not used, but got anxiety eating bad foods, like fried foods. If I ate a lot of, I could just have, like, a normal plate of fries and chicken it's just the fact that it's running through my head that it's greasy and I always think about like my dad he passed at 39 and those thoughts be like heavy so you be thinking like your dad passed at 39 you eating all these fried greasy foods and then the thoughts just go and they go and they go and they go and then next thing you know you're in a full anxiety attack now two of them did not prosper the third one baby like the, I was on the freeway y'all by myself pulled over and it was crazy. I can say I have prayed every day every day I ain't skipping a day every day and I can say for it to be day 10 it's very very intense it's intense it's um 
It is. So, and I was just so taken back because it's so early in the journey, you know, just nine days in, but it's a beautiful thing. So my thoughts are more clear. Look, y'all, it's snowing outside. Can y'all see that snow? Okay, so my thoughts are more clear. Um, I think things through, very intentional, more so than I was. Um, and then, like, even if it's something negative that hit my mind, it leaves it quicker than it ever had before. Oh, my goodness, y'all. This snow is coming down. Damn, damn, let's open this car door. Look. Oh, my goodness. Like, can it just give up? Like, let the sun come out. We're over it. And why are you coming down this heavy? You play too much. Anyways, um, literally, I could feel energy even more. Now, I've always felt energy. Ever since a little girl, I could just feel people, moods, tones, and everything. I could just feel that energy even even more so. I don't care if it's through a text, a message. Um, I don't care what it is. I, I could just feel it. It's, it's like a piercing sun. I said that before about something, but that's what it's like. Um... This sun, this uh, snow really got me, y'all. Because, see, the beauty of it, though, that it's snowing, it's sunshine out here, too. It's sunshine and it's snow. Come on now, what I'm saying? Can't get, look, the sun just went down. Quit playing with me. <laughs> like, I pray a whole lot more. I pray a whole lot more. And not only am I praying a lot more, I am, like, really horning in on things. Um... I know going forth, me and my son is going to be so much better. I done prayed about a few things, and literally, I got the answer right after I was done praying, y'all. I got the answer, like, right after I was done praying or the next day. No lie. So, excuse me. I'm, I got a lot of... Oh, that's another thing. So, I have acid reflux, GERD. I am going to take my medicine for it until I feel like it's clearing up, and tonic is going to help me, but... I keep getting a lot of gas coming back up. So, um, I'm not sure if it's the chia seeds that's in the smoothies is doing it, but something is not adding up, okay? Because I'm I'm belching a lot, which I know that's my acid reflex. So, um, I do know that it is a blessing to be on this journey, and this journey is bigger than me. I know that early on, and to know that is truly a blessing. Seriously. And I got like a little pain in my side, which I'm going to go to the doctor about that. But um, other than that, y'all, I'm solid. I'm golden. I'm 10 toes down. And um, like I said, the most frightening thing that I have experienced yet is the panic attack I had. Other than that, I'm, I'm liking where I'm going. And even after that, I still stayed on track. I have not veered off track. I have not eaten anything that I don't suppose to eat. My decision making, I'd rather go without eating than sit up here and just say, oh, give me that because I know I'm not by, um, I don't have what I need to make this movie run out. Like I had to wait till yesterday after I got past the panic attack. I came home, chilled out. Then I went to the grocery store, came back, made me um, a smoothie and ate that. Um, I'm going to make me a salad today. But that's day 10. That's how I feel. I know some questions was asked. Oh, so when I got on the scale today, I was down another pound. I'm not doing this for weight, y'all. But I can't say that's not a bonus. I will be lying because guess what? I've been trying to lose my weight for plenty and many of years. And I've been trying to get healthy since I've been diagnosed. So, yeah. That, that's just the bonus, y'all. I'm in some pants that I couldn't fit. I can breathe. And I'm going to show y'all a couple of pieces of clothing that I hope to be in when it's all said and done. Meaning, you know, I get to where I need to be. And I'm not talking about at the end of this 90 days because this is beyond. It really, really is. Um, but I know if I start kicking it off 90 days, they say it takes 30 days to change a habit. So, yeah, I'll be golden and good. Yeah, but that's about it. I thank y'all for watching this video. I really, really appreciate you all. I really do. Um, thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you for those who have been around. I appreciate you both. I don't care if you spend a second to a long time over here. Your time is valuable because you cannot get it back. Make sure that you love on purpose. And let me tell you something. Anything that does not serve you for a greater good, 
walk away from it. Friend, and family, a foe, you got to let it go so you can be the best authentic person you can be. Can't nobody duplicate who you are. You come original, okay? Your weird quirkiness, quirkiness, everything about you, someone is going to come along and love you in all your states, family, friend, or foe. That's just how it go. But until next time, you remember, keep winning on purpose.